Hello Bible aficionados, this is Derek with another Bible review today and I've been asked by a couple of people to do a, a comparison of sorts between the R.L. Allen 43, that's their new thin line edition of the long primer, and the R.L. Allen 53, the original long primer if you will. Um, this particular edition that I have of the 43 is in navy blue Highland Goatskin, and the 53 that I own is the black uh, limited edition with the red liner. There is another review of just that particular Bible. Now, if you look at the two Bibles, uh, one of the main differences you'll notice is the thickness of the Bible itself. According to the uh, Bible's Direct website, the thickness of the present day R. L. Allen 53, and note that was the one done in 2016, that's an inch and a half thickness on the spine. And the new thin line edition is an inch and a quarter. Now you might wonder, well how did they do that? Well this uh, particular edition has the 36 GSM paper. That's what a lot of uh, people who are um, Bible collectors and Bible aficionados, they want 36 GSM paper. Very little ghosting, a nice feel to the paper, and yet it's still rather thin, but it's got a nice hefty feel to it. And if we zoom in just a little bit, you see very little ghosting on the text. Now on the long primer edition, personally I don't find ghosting to be much of a problem whatsoever because it's such a bold text and um, although the typeset was done well before line matching was in vogue generally it's almost line match so you really don't see a lot of ghosting either way. While I have this 53 open do note that there is a double gilt line around the edge two gilt line and look at the corners. This one was done by Chant. You can see how nicely the corners were done. Now let's take a look at the 43. This was bound by Charfleet. No double line, just a single gilt line. And if we look at the corners, well, not quite as nicely done, I would say, as the Chant corners. But Charfleet is improving, and so we have to give them credit for that. One thing I did notice is that um, there is no overcast stitching in this Bible. On the, and I don't know if you'll be able to see here, but on the 53, there's this extra stitching called overcast stitching, which really strengthens the binding. But it appears that Charfleet is not doing overcast stitching anymore. Now let's look at the page from the Charfleet text. This is 28 GSM paper. I don't see much of a problem at all with ghosting. You can feel that yes, it's a little bit thinner than the 36 GSM paper, but this is what allows it to be a Bible that's only an inch and a quarter in thickness. So I think it makes a very handy Bible that you can carry around and certainly you can carry around a regular 53 but the 43 is a little bit lighter. One of the things that's different on the 43 that um, the 2016 53's um, had was that the navy blue edition had a blue under gold art gilt. This has a red under gold art gilt. There's a variety of opinions uh, between people whether they prefer blue or red under gold art gilt. I don't mind the red under gold. It's, I think it's very attractive either way. And so I think Allen's put out another fine edition of the long primer. If you want something a little bit thinner, um, same nice quality Highland goat skin cover and something that may be a little bit more portable to carry around I would recommend the Allen 43. Now if you do note, the last thing I will say is that in terms of the footprint, the Bible itself is pretty much the same footprint if you look. Uh, just the thickness is the difference on that. 
Well, I'm sorry for a little bit of shakiness in this video, and um, anyways, I always appreciate you taking some time to look at my Bible reviews, and have a look at my YouTube channel for other Bible reviews, and feel free to post any questions in the comments. And may the Lord richly bless you.